If if you own a Dell laptop, and this laptop has internet issues, it's a problem not with the software but with the car itself. So I'm going to show you how to fix this problem. First, you want to take the keyboard of the laptop. See, I'm using this piece of wood. You can, you can use a toothpick or anything. It's very simple. You press on that latch and lift on the, on the very first one. Okay, hold on one second. I discovered that I actually needed my two hands for this. So, like I said, press on that and hold it with your hand like this. Okay. And then go to the next one. Do the same thing. Then another one here. And it's going up. And then one more all the way over here. And this is how the keyboard gets lift. Then you pull this way like this. Okay. With your two hands. All right, so I finally got this camera adjusted. Now you grab it. Okay. And you pull out like pull it Pull it out like this, and then lift it up just like this, and be careful with this cable, you don't want to get it unplugged. And now the problem relies on this card here, this is where my finger is, right here, this one. And obviously with the laptop off, okay, with the laptop off, you're going to take your screwdriver. All right. And you're going to take this screw off. This one. It only has one screw. You take that off. And then you grab pliers. Little tiny tweezers. Or with your fingers. You grab those cables like this, boom, lift one up, and then grab the other one and lift it up. And when you put it back on, you're gonna kind of like center it, put it down, and then you're gonna press down on it like this. And it's gonna be, it's gonna click a little bit. You gotta be very careful though, because these two cables are your internet antenna connectors. You don't wanna damage them, and they're very easy to be damaged so be careful go straight down just do it carefully that's all get some tweezers twisters tweezers like the ones you use to get hairs facial hairs off like those and then once you center it with your finger you can push it down and with the same tweezers you can push it down and help yourself with both hands okay and but once you take this two off and then you take that screw off that car is going to go up like this and then once it goes up like that you just pull it out like we pull the like we pull the key the keyboard and you introduce the new one in now the one i recommend you using is an aces part number and i'm going to get a close up onto that because that this car that I'm using it really works and it solved the problem that's the car that I'm using it has the Bluetooth and then also has the um, the other stuff which called the internet and it just never disconnects it's great I'm so happy with this card 
the problem is gone this bar is always connected man that was a problem that I really thought was something else and I did everything so shame on Dell because they sell they bought this stuff they don't do a recall they don't tell you they they play fool like they don't know and it happens that they might be accountable for this because a lot of people have problems with their laptops and they're angry at it and um, and they even think the model is bad but this this laptop is so awesome this laptop is great but the problem is the car the defective car they sell it with thanks for watching hope you fix your problem as well take care and also you download the threat the drives drives by looking at this thing and that's how you search for it on the internet if you have any problems you let me know and i'll help you take care bye